And a good evening, everyone. We welcome you to Wiley High School on the, the campus of Wiley High School Bulldog Gym in Abilene, Texas. It is District 4-5A volleyball tonight. It's the Wiley Bulldogs playing host to the Monterey Lady Plainsmen. Glad you're with us here. We are on the Wiley Bulldog Sports Network on YouTube. This is a Wiley High School AV production tonight. I'm Andy Penny, your play-by-play -play voice, joined by Wiley High School junior Andre Washington. Andre, welcome to the broadcast. You ready for a little bit of Wiley Bulldog volleyball tonight? Yes, sir. Yeah. So it's going to be fun tonight. As you can t see, the two teams are about to get things underway, and we'll get the starting lineups and the start to tonight's contest as well. The Lady Bulldogs of Wiley come in. They are 2-0 and in District 4-5A play. They are 15-4 and overall. The Monterey Lady Plainsmen are 0-2 in district play at an even 16-16. and We will pause here at Bulldog Gym. We will have the playing of the national anthem here before we get underway. Our Stars and Stripes, the National Anthem, as we get underway here again, Wiley and Lubbock Monterey about to do battle. Should be a fun one uh, here tonight. Again, Wiley comes in 2-0 in district play, 15-14 overall. Monterey is 0-2, 16-16 overall on the year. Wiley, their last game out, they beat Abilene Cooper that on Friday. A great win for the uh, Lady Bulldogs as they got the win. Uh, versus Abilene Cooper, so they've already beat Abilene High and Abilene Cooper. So a uh, chance to now play the Lubbock teams as it's Lubbock Cooper, Lubbock High, and Monterey and Coronado all in this district. So the Lady Plainsmen, again, 0-2 in district play. They lost to Abilene High on Friday. They lost in three sets, 25-20, 25-16, and 25-20 as well. And again, the first time these two teams have played each other here in uh, 2023. Andre, what are you anticipating tonight? You're looking forward to a good night of, of volleyball. I don't, have you seen the team play yet this year? Uh, no, I haven't seen the team play yet, but I believe that we're going to win this game, just like last game. I like the way you think. I like the way you think. The starting lineups are being announced here to the Wiley Bulldog crowd. As the Monterey Lady Plainsman team, you've got Madison Dubree, Harper Joachim, Avery Bond, Avery Bradley, uh, Aniston Greaser, Gabby Garcia, Maddox Patton, Bella Champion, Ari Johnson, Jayla Hilliard, Madeline Campos, Laney Bradley, and Emmy Satterfield. That's your Lady Plainsman team under head coach Kelly Lozada. Again, 16 and 16 on the overall season. The Wiley Lady Bulldogs again about to uh, be announced here to the home crowd. The Wiley Lady Bulldog crowd uh, roster, excuse me, is number two, Taylor Riley. She's a junior. Number three, Michaela Reed. She is a senior. Number four, Wesley Ruff, also a senior. Callie O'Connell is a junior. 
wears number five. Ashton Hansen's a senior. She wears number six. Jaden and Kaylin Dahl, they're both juniors. The twins wear number seven and number eight. Aaliyah Jowers, the junior, wears number nine. Mallory Bankhead, senior, she wears number 10. Brighton Diller, she wears number 11. She is a junior. India Maroney wears number 12 as a senior. Bree Johnson, also a senior, she wears number 14. Ella Hewerman, the junior, wears number 16. And Avery LaCroix, the sophomore, wears number 19. Under head coach Shea Cox, Coach Cox just won her 500th game in her coaching career just a few weeks ago as they beat they beat uh, Granberry to uh, get that win for number 500 in Coach Shea Cox's coaching career. Bulldogs have been playing great volleyball as of late. Had a really tough tournament schedule there in the uh, early portion of their schedule in August and September, but really came around and did some great things uh, over the course of the last three weeks. Wins versus Granberry, San Angelo Central, and again, two wins. Two wins uh, here in district play to get things underway. The two teams are shaking hands, as you can see, at the net. We do want to say a special thanks as well to the officials who are here tonight, the Texas High School Coaches Association wanted to recognize the officials before the game, and we did that prior to the game as well. And could not do it without our great officials. We'll work with four officials tonight, both sides of the net, as well as the corners calling lines as well. And Wiley in the white uniform, jersey tops tonight. Monterey in the visiting red jersey tops tonight. Black on the shoulders, on the left shoulder, and the long sleeves. It's too hot to be wearing long sleeves, right? Yeah, it's too hot. Right <laughs> it's too hot. Well, both teams are doing it. So we get ready for volleyball. So from our vantage point, our camera vantage point, the Lady Bulldogs be on the right side of the court, attacking to the left, and the Lady Plainsmen on the left side, attacking to the right. You'll see Michaela Reed in the pink jersey top tonight. She is the libero. The substitution rules are a little bit different for the libero, and the coach has to identify who that libero player will be. It's Michaela Reed in the pink jersey top for Wiley. And it looks like it's Madison Debris, the five foot one sophomore, who will wear the white jersey top with the red Monterey jerseys tonight. She'll be the libero for the Lady Plainsman. Thanks for sticking with us here. We were scheduled for a 6 o'clock first serve. We are a little bit late. The junior varsity game in front of us ran a little long, and then a few pregame ceremonies as well. But here we are at about 6.18. About to get this thing ready and underway. Ray will serve first. It's Madison Dubree behind the service line on the left side. And she will get ready and serve it up. We are underway. It's a good serve. Popped up in the back row. Nice job, Ashton Hansen. Monterey a chance to attack. They'll go in the middle. No luck there. And Wesley Ruff, chance to pop it over, but she's called for a double hit. So the first point of the night will go the way of Monterey. We play rally point in high school volleyball. First team to 25 wins the set. First team to win three sets wins the match. Here's a swing by Bree Johnston in the first kill tonight. We'll go for the senior Bree Johnston. Good looking swing there. So we are tied at one here, Wiley and Monterey. Brighton Diller, the junior, is behind the service line. She'll get ready to serve it up. I have a whistle and I believe a substitution violation on Monterey. So the point will go the way of the Lady Bulldogs. Coach Lozada and the Lady Plains been trying to get an explanation and they got one that they finally like. Here's the Lady Plains been on the attack champion. Hits it off the blocker, tools it off the block. 
gets the point. We're now tied at two apiece. Bella Champion is ready to serve here for the Plainsman. Hanson. O'Connell. Big swing by Jowers. It's blocked. It stays in. It's on the line. Blocked by Ari Johnson for the point. And Monterey will get a point at three to two. Another big swing. Bree Johnston. Bree's got her second kill tonight. Good start for Bree. We're tied at three here in the first set. Callie O'Connell, the junior, ready to serve. Good serve, middle of the floor. Bulldogs a chance to, uh, to attack. Jowers a big swing, cross court, she's got it in. Big time swing there for the Bulldogs and another point. O'Connell gets ready one more time here to serve. Left side and point is down. Aniston Greaser will get credit for the point. Took a little velocity off that one and found the hole in the Wiley defense. And we're tied at four. And the Bulldogs, Johnson, trying to put this back in the back corner, and she'll do it. Bree Johnson off to a nice start. Another point for the senior. He's got a 5-4 lead. Just getting underway tonight. Set number one. They back set. Shot by Johnson, dug up by the Lady Bulldogs. Jowers now tries to go down the near sideline. Johnson will swing. Bulldogs a chance to attack. Jowers takes a lot of velocity off of that one. Tips it over the blockers. She's got the point. Bulldogs a 6-4 lead. Now Johnston to serve. Johnson and Jowers, nice start here for the Bulldogs in the attack. Good block at the net. Deflection will set up the Bulldogs. Taylor Riley down the line is just out on the far sideline. Point to the Plainsman, make it 6-5. Connell back set to Jowers. Try to just tip this one and can't quite do it. It hits the top of the net. Ties up here at six apiece. Good start here. Both teams off to a nice start. Played back and forth. Johnson will serve. Ed will tip one over. Plain's been able to play it. Into the back row. Reed. O'Connell back set. Riley, big swing, blocked at the net, but it's down on the Monterey side. It's a Wiley Bulldog point. And 7-6 Wiley the lead. And Wiley comes in 2-0 in district play. They're right behind Lubbock Cooper. Lubbock Cooper just 3-0 in district play. Wiley at 2-0. Coronado is 1-1. Lubbock High 1-1. Abilene High is 1-1. Big bunch there in the middle. Nice job, Michaela Reed. It's been another chance to attack. Far side, big swing. Bradley has it popped up. Now Riley, a big swing, tries to put it deep. It's long, and it's out. Point to the Plainsman. Monterey again here at 0-2 in the early district season. Abilene Cooper is at 0-3. There's Mallory Bankhead with a big swing. The senior has her first kill tonight. Play back on top at 8-7. 
Ashton Hansen, the senior, to serve. Serve into the near corner. Swing for Wesley Rupp. And she's got a point. The pass by the Lady Plains been a little too long. Right at the net, Wesley Ruff, a chance to swing. And she puts it down. It's a two-point Wiley lead. Seems like the entire set we've gone point for point back and forth, and now Wiley has a two-point lead. Answered another good serve. And another dig here. Now Wesley Ruffles swing, and she's got a kill. Three points in a row, a little momentum for the, for the home team. They're off to a nice start here tonight, huh? Yes, sir. 10-7 so now the Bulldogs have the lead. Really good effort out there by everybody. Yep. Hanson again, another serve. Another pass a little too deep. Wesley Ruff able to knock it down again. Another point here for the Bulldogs. That's four in a row. And Wiley has an 11-7 lead. And Hanson racking up the points behind the service line. Dubree gets it back on the Bulldogs' side. O'Connell to Bankhead. Big swing, deflected at the net. Nice deflection there by Hilliard. Bankhead another chance to put one over. Bradley in the right position. Now Bradley a big swing. Blocked at the net. She'll have a kill. Laney Bradley, the senior for the Lady Plainsman. That stops a streak of four straight points for the Lady Bulldogs. And it's an 11-8 Wiley lead here in the first set. Bradley will serve. The jump serve down the line. And it's out down the near sideline. Service error, give it back here to Wiley. So 12-8 our scores. Michaela Reed gets ready to serve. Bradley the bump set, back set to Bella Champion. Bulldogs able to play it. O'Connell will put it back over on the Plainsman side. Big swing by Greaser. The Bulldogs able to play it. O'Connell over to Rub. The swing, and it's down on the far line, the back line. Another kill for, for Wesley Ruff and a 13-8 Bulldog lead. Taylor Reed to serve again. Another bump set. Swing by Greaser, and I believe it hit the pole on the side of the net. And that is out down the line, 14-8. The official's going to talk about it, but the official on the far side said that attack by Greaser hit the pole on the net, which is an automatic out. The officials are talking about it, as you can see. But the point will stay. 14-8, Wiley. Michaela Reed, another good serve. In the back row, swing off the top of the net. Bella Champion tried to get the swing and could not do it. We've got a timeout here by Monterey. First set, it's a 15-8 Bulldog lead. And Andre, again, a good start here for uh, Wiley now up by, by seven at 15-8. to eight. Give us a chance to say special thanks to some of our sponsors, Taylor Electric Cooperative. At Taylor Electric Cooperative, we are more than... Taylor Electric Cooperative, still owned by the members it serve. Still neighbors working for neighbors. Services for living, connections for life. That's Taylor Electric Cooperative. <laughs> Moreland Sobin and Partners Dentistry, cosmetic and family dentistry, providing the best care possible. From routine checkups and cleanings to dental implants and orthodontics, you can find them online at bspdentistry.com. So 15-8 Bulldogs here in set number one. Michaela Reed still behind that service line, ready to serve it up 
some more. Back row, this one played by Avery Bradley. Back on the Bulldog side, Bree Johnston. Good swing, and now Bradley back onto the Lady Bulldog side. O'Connell, the set, rough, taps it in the back row. Debris keeps it alive. Now swing down the far sideline, Greaser. Johnston blocked at the net. It's still alive, and it's down now on the Bulldog side and a point for Monterey. Good rally. That's probably the lengthiest rally we've seen thus far tonight. And Monterey able to get the point. Here's Madison Debris with the serve. O'Connell over to Johnston and another kill for Bree. Boy, Bree's having a great first set. 16-9, Lady Bulldog lead. Brighton Diller back on the floor. Brighton, one of the serve specialists here for the Lady Bulldogs. She'll be back behind that service line. Champion out of the back row, blocked. Does it stay in? Yes, it does. Blocked by Jowers and Johnston. It was a deep block, went all the way back to the back line, but it did stay in. Debris gave it a dive, but came up empty. That's another Bulldog point. So 17-9 here in the first set. Here's a swing and a kill. Aniston Greaser, the junior outside hitter. And now 17-10. Ella Champion to serve. Read the pass, a little too deep, chance to swing, and a point for Greasers. That pass went a little too deep right at the net. And Greaser for the Lady Plainsman with the swing. Back-to-back -back points here for Monterey. Reads pass to O'Connell. Now Jowers plays it off the block, tools the block, gets it down. It's a point for the Lady Bulldogs and an 18-11 lead. Kelly O'Connell will serve. Good hard serve into the back row. Plains been able to attack. Champion puts it back over. Diller to O'Connell. Now to Johnston. Takes some velocity off of this one. The Lady Plainsmen were ready. Another swing and another point. Aniston Greaser playing well for the Lady Plainsmen tonight. Get another point here for Monterey. 18-12. Wiley in the lead. Greaser down to serve. Serve this one into the net. The service error, give it back. Here to Wiley. Mallory Bankhead back on the floor, the senior. It's her first year in a Bulldog uniform. She moved from Lake Belton High School here to Wiley. Johnson will serve. Serve it into the back row. Johnson for Monterey. Gets a swing. Now Riley for the Lady Bulldogs. Blocked at the net. Another chance to swing. Debris, back set, Johnson, and Johnson a good swing and a kill. Point for the Lady Plainsman. Monterey trying to hang in this thing. It's 19-13. Johnson will serve. Give it to Reed. Bankhead and Jowers. Puts it on the Plainsman side, and it's good for a point. Maddox Patton in the front row trying to bump that one up. Just missed it, and it's a point for the Lady Bulldogs. They're five points away from winning here set number one. Wiley's well, been keeping a steady lead in the second half. Yeah, it's been good to stay on top. This serve will sail long. 
Yeah, and this rally point where every point counts, if you can get you a lead and then just play back and forth the rest of the set, you'll <laughs> end up on top. So it's kind of where we are right now. 20 to 14, five points away from winning here set number one. Gower's in the back row to O'Connell. And now Diller, or check that, it's rough with a swing. She's blocked at the net. And another point here for the Lady Plainsman. On the other side of that, you have to finish it off, and you still have to win some points. <laughs> and that's what trying to do here. Bradley with a good hard serve. Bankhead now a swing. Blocked, but out on the far side. It's a point for Wiley. Blocked it at the net, but on the far side. So 21-15. And now Ashton Hansen. He will serve. As for the Bulldogs to attack, O'Connell, back set, bankhead, big swing, and it's down, a kill for Mallory Bankhead, the senior. 22-15 is Wiley closing in. And really good on the attack here in set number one. Hanson ready to serve one up again. The jump serve, a little long, and it's out. 22-16. Substitution here for the Lady Plainsman as Aniston Greaser back in. Served by Bradley. Jowers from the back row. Big swing just out on the back row. 22-17. And a timeout here by Coach Cox and the Lady Bulldogs give us a chance to, again, say a special thanks to some of our great sponsors, First Financial Bank. Our success comes from the lifelong relationships we built with people just like you. They're recognized as one of the nation's top performing banks. That is First Financial Bank. Also, the Shed Market, your local family-owned and operated one-stop shop for award-winning barbecue, the highest quality butcher shop in Abilene, Texas. You can visit them at 7925 Buffalo Gap Road. That is the Shed Market. Andre, you've been to the Shed Market a few times, right? Yes, sir. You like the menu over there? Uh, I say it's probably the best food I've had <laughs> since I was in Abilene. <laughs> hey, there you go. That's a shout-out now. Because you boys like to eat. I know these uh, high school guys. Andre, a high school junior, who's with us here tonight. Got Trevor over here punching buttons for us tonight. Great job, Trevor. Wiley High School AV Productions crew. Bringing you Bulldog Volleyball tonight. 22-17, Wiley with the five-point lead. Reed will pop up the serve. O'Connell to Bankhead again. Big swing blocked at the net. The Plains been keeping it alive. Nice play defensively. Bulldogs another chance to attack. Rough this time will swing. Down the line, it's popped up, but unable to play, and it's out. Wesley Ruff went right down the near sideline. Nice play in the back row by Bradley to dig it out, but it's out on the near sideline. And two points away now from taking set number one. Dowers, O'Connell, Ruff. Now here come the Plainsman. Bradley over left side. Big swing by Greaser. Dug out by Jowers. Now Johnston, another swing. Hits off the top of the net. Clips off the top of the net, but it is down for a point. And it is game point. Here in the first game, 24-17. Ayla Reed with the serve. Chance to finish it on a kill. Johnston, big swing. A little long, and it's out. Was it tipped at the net? No, it was tipped at the net. It's a point for the Bulldogs, and the first set has come to an end. 25-17, Wiley gets the win in set number one. We will take a timeout. We'll have set number two after this break as you're watching Wiley 
Bulldog Volleyball. It's powered by Taylor Electric Cooperative or the Wiley Bulldog Sports Network. At Taylor Electric Cooperative, we are more than just the services we provide. For generations, we have been the link that has connected members to our local community. From those who remember when the lights were first turned on to those who rely daily on our high-speed fiber internet, we are here to make certain that those connections never dim. Because we understand that the most important connection we will ever make is the one we make together. At Taylor Electric, we have provided generations with services for living and connections for life. At Borland Sobin and Partners, we're in our third decade of providing high-quality, affordable dental care in Abilene and the Big Country. Our family-friendly clinic offers comprehensive dental care for adults and children. Anything from hygiene and preventative care to cosmetic dentistry and dental implants. Then don't worry, we do emergency services too. Our team of professionals understands the latest dental techniques and technology and welcome your questions as we develop the perfect treatment plan for you. And best of all, we offer same-day appointments if you're in pain. So schedule your appointment today, and we'll see you soon. When it comes to finding the right vehicle for you, there's no better place than Lawrence Hall in Abilene. For over 34 years, Lawrence Hall in Abilene has been the place to find the best from Chevrolet, Buick, and GMC. And that is still true today. Great products and great service, too. So the next time you need a new car, truck, or SUV, come see us or shop 24-7 at LawrenceHallAbilenOnline.com. Voted Abilene's best new car dealer for over 28 years by you, our customers. When First Financial Bank opened its doors in 1890, a relationship between a local community bank and a state was born. For more than 130 years, First Financial has grown alongside you, your family, your business, all while putting your goals first. From the ports to the plains. First Financial Bank, Weird Texas. We'll be back here to Bulldogs Gym, Wiley High School. The Wiley Lady Bulldogs and the Monterey Lady Plainsmen. Glad you're with us tonight. Andy Penny alongside Andre Washington, Wiley High School Junior, part of the broadcast tonight. Andre, good first set for the Bulldogs. Give me your thoughts on how they played in set number one. Uh, I think this. The, uh, sets, the kills, yeah. Uh, the sets were uh, really nice to Bree, and she was able to finish it off yeah. in the first half. Yeah, Bree had a great first set. Wesley Ruff with some kills. Mallory Bankhead, Aliyah Jowers all the way around. Good first set of volleyball. Yeah, you know, we play best three out of five, so... Good start here for uh, Wiley. They got one set down. As you can see on our scoreboard, moving to set number two. 25-17 there in set number one. You see a good crowd has come in here to uh, Bulldog Gym. You're just seeing half the crowd there on our screen. But the other half, just as solid. The officials are going through some of the substitutions and getting us ready for here set number two. So again, Michaela Reed, the uh, libero in the pink jersey, just checked in. I have one schedule change to tell you about. Friday's match for the Lady Bulldogs versus Lubbock High has been moved to Saturday. That with all of the homecoming festivities here for uh, Wiley football in the Wiley community on Friday. Lubbock High was gracious enough to move that match with Wiley to Saturday. It is a home match here at Wiley High School. Saturday afternoon, the varsity will first serve at noon on uh, Saturday. That'll be the next time you can see the Bulldogs here at home. First set goes into the net. Monterey, the first point here in set number two. Well, a champion will serve here for the Lady Plainsman. Johnson, another chance to attack, and another kill for Bree. Boy, Bree's been so good tonight. She's got another kill, and we're tied at one. Again, here's Brighton Diller to come in. Brighton, one of the service specialists. 
Here for the Bulldogs. Good serve there. Monterey a little trouble. They'll just have to get it back on the Bulldog side. Now Johnston, another swing. Cross court. Is it in? Yes, it is. Bree Johnston back-to-back -back kills here to start set number two. Diller, another serve, another hard serve into the back row. Debris a chance to swing, but she hits it into the net from the back row. Boy, that was tough. And she puts it into the back row. Three one, Wiley on top. Big swing by Greaser, dug out by Reed. Now Jowers a big swing, dug out in the back row by Champion. Bulldogs attack again, O'Connell, middle, Johnston blocked at the net. Big block by Greaser and Johnson of Monterey, and a point to the Lady Plainsman. Here's Aniston Greaser, the junior. Johnson takes some velocity off that one. Monterey able to play it. Bulldogs will attack again. On the outside, Jowers tries to go down the line. She hits it out. And we're tied at three. Serve will go in the net and a point for the Lady Plainsman. Callie O'Connell will get the ace. I believe the first ace we've seen tonight. One into the net, so they'll even out the ace, followed by the serve into the net, and the Plainsmen have it back. Bulldogs five, Plainsmen four. Sorry, Johnson to serve, the sophomore. Deep serve, Reed to pop it up. Cross court attempt by Bradley, dug out by Reed. Now Jowers will take some velocity off of that one, the tip across and the point for the Bulldogs. Six four, Wiley on top. Avery Bond with a swing, a junior. And now India Maroney with a swing. And Maroney, her first kill tonight. The senior, she wears number 12. First time we've seen her. And she'll get the kill. And a 7-4 Wiley Lee. It's up by O'Connell. Bankhead, Diller. Good defense there by the Bulldogs. Now, um, attempt by Bradley, dug out in the back row. Jowers a big swing, she's got a kill. Well, that started with defense that time. It was a kill by Jowers, but really started with the defense to keep that point alive. Johnston with a serve. Back set to Maroney. Dug out by Debris. O'Connell to Johnston. Back over to India. Big swing. Dug out back row. Debris, nice play. Bulldogs a chance to attack again. O'Connell in the middle to Bankhead. Drops it right on the near sideline. Saw an opening short on the near sideline and put it right where no planesmen were. And it's a point. Here for the Bulldogs, 9-4 now our score. 
Wiley on top by five. And one set one, 25-17. There's a kill, nice kill by Laney Bradley. Our score. Another swing by Bradley and another kill. Back-to-back -back kills, back-to-back -back points for the Lady Plainsman. It's a 9-6 game. Avery Bond, big swing, and it'll go as an ace. Avery Bond, a big-time serve for the point. 9-7 now our score. There's Jowers, and Jowers will get another kill. See some substitutions here as Wesley Ruff is back on the floor. And Avery Bradley also back in. Bradley, a freshman for this Lady Plainsman team. There's Jowers with the serve, Monterey on the attack. Reed. Pass to O'Connell. Now to Ruff with a swing. Plains, but keep it alive. Great hustle by Monterey. Wiley will attack again. Ruff takes a velocity off, and she'll tip one over for the point. We'll give Monterey credit for keeping that point alive. Give Wiley credit for staying with it. 11-7 now. Lady Bulldogs on top. Maroney, another swing down the sideline, near sideline. She's got another one. And again, here are Andre. Here we are. Wiley's done a nice job of spreading out a lead, and now they can try to go point for point the rest of the way. Yeah, they almost lost it, but now they're getting the back five points. There's Jowers with the serve. This one a little too long by Bradley and a point. 13-7 now, Wiley by six. Rough a big swing. And another point. That pass just a little too deep. Ruff was waiting for it. And able to hit one off the block for the point. 14-7 now our score. There's a point, Jayla Hilliard, the junior, able to drop one on the Wiley side. I'll stop a string of three straight points by the Lady Bulldogs. Aniston Greaser back in with the service change. Laney Bradley to serve. Jowers to O'Connell over to Bankhead with a big swing. This one's sail long, and it's out. One thing about Mallory Bankhead, though, she will always have a smile on her face. She is a good one. She's fun to watch. And there's another service ace. Laney Bradley with the ace for the Lady Plainsman. 14-10, Wiley still up by four-point spread. Set number two, Wiley won set number one, 25-17. Bradley serve. Reed, Maroney, Jowers will get it back to the Lady Plainsman side. Swing and a kill. Bella Champion. Five foot five senior with a big swing and able to get it down. Champion listed as a setter. She didn't get a chance to swing very often, but she does there. And she gets the Lady Plainsman point. 
O'Connell too rough. Wessel try to put it in the far corner, hits it a little bit long, it sails out. And another Monterey point and a timeout here for Wiley as again, that five point spreads down to three and Coach Cox gonna call a timeout. She just wants to talk to her team a little bit, make sure they're okay. Give us a chance, we'll say a special thanks to, again, some of our great sponsors of Wiley Bulldog Volleyball, Hendrick Clinic Bone and Joint. They specialize in orthopedics, sports medicine, and pain management. To help you succeed through your seasons, that's Hendrick Clinic Bone and Joint. Also, our good friends over at Lawrence Hall Chevrolet, they provide a vast selection of new and used vehicles, exceptional car care, and customer service with a smile, recognized as Abilene's best new car dealer by the Abilene Reporter News for more than 20 years. That is Lawrence Hall Chevrolet. Everybody having a good time here at Wiley High School tonight. As you can see there in the crowd. <laughs> night here at Bulldog Gym. 14-12. Here in set number two. Out of the timeout. Monterey on the serve. Bank had a chance to swing. Popped up in the back row. Right to Wesley Ruff, though. And Wesley will put it down. Good dig in the back row by Dubree, but again, hit it right at Wesley Ruff. And the point the way of the Bulldogs. Still find Swayze something back again to eat. Justin Hansen. Will serves. She comes in for India Maroney. Front row for back row. Back row for front row. Hanson will pass to O'Connell. Bankhead in the middle. A left-handed tip. Again, champion a swing. And blocked at the net. No, actually, they'll say not blocked at the net, just into the net. Four hits by the Lady Plainsman. Point give it back. Great serve here and an ace for Hanson. 17-12. Just like that, out of the timeout. Coach Cox called the timeout at the right time, obviously. That's three straight points out of the timeout and back to a five-point lead. See if Hanson can keep it going. Take a little velocity off of this one. Champion pops it up. Now, big swing and a kill shot. Jayla Hilliard. Hilliard. Good out there by McKayla Reed. What's that? Good effort out there by yeah, McKellar Reed. Yeah, chased it down, just could not quite get to it. But Hilliard, the big swing, and the point for the Lady Plainsman. Hanging in this thing here in set number two. Wiley won set one again, 25-17. Jowers in the back row. Good pass to O'Connell. Tries to tip one over. The Lady Plainsman are ready. Now a swing and a kill. Aniston Greaser, another kill. And back-to-back -back points for Monterey to get back within three. 17-14, our school. You breathe the jump serve. Hanson past O'Connell. Ruff will get a chance to swing. Block to the net and another point. For the Lady Plainsman. Sorry, Johnson, the sophomore, with the block. 17-15. Three points in a row. Short serve, Debris tried to serve this one short, but a little too short. It's into the net and a point here for Wiley. Here's Michaela Reed. Blocked at the net, Johnston now. Back on the Plainsman side. Greaser a swing, deflected at the net. It's down on Wiley's side. It's a point for the Lady Plainsman. It's 18-16. Jowers from the back row, blocked at the net, but it's down on the Monterey side. Johnson was there for Monterey, in position to block it just Far enough, though, off the net where it went straight down on the Monterey side instead of on the Wiley side. And a point for Wiley, 
Right and Diller back in to serve. Johnson a swing blocked by Johnston. Johnson and Johnston. There's a bump that goes too far on the back row. And a point for Wiley. It's 20 to 16 and a timeout here for Monterey. Andre, here we are, five points away at 20 to 16 and a chance to go up two sets in pretty good position here, huh? So it's just been going back, probably getting to leave this bit. So. Andre, you're part of the uh, Bulldog football team, right? Sir. It's been fun the last few weeks. Y'all been playing well, huh? Give me Sir. your give me your thoughts on the last two weeks. Uh, last two weeks, I feel like we've been putting more effort, and the last, past two games have just been uh, really fun to watch. Bulldog football beat Lubbock Cooper two weeks ago on the road, 35-34. They then beat Stephenville last Friday, 42-32. Coming home for homecoming. Homecoming on Friday versus San Angelo Central. You got a garter? You going to wear a garter? You got a mom? Uh, I'm going to bring my back. There you go. That'll be fun. So 20 to 16 out of the timeout. Wiley trying to finish this thing off. Here's Diller's serve. Good serve, center of the floor. It'll go as an ace. With some velocity on that one and some top spin, able to get the ace. 21 16. And another one back to back aces by the junior Brighton Diller. Got a pair of aces. Setting up for a nice hand here. Already a pair of aces. So serve this one. This one will sail along and it's out. Yeah, two aces and one service error. That's pretty fair trade. 22-17. Wiley a five point lead, three points away from set number two. Greaser will serve here for the Lady Plainsman. Diller to O'Connell, back set to Johnston. Big swing blocked. Bulldogs will attack again. Jowers this time, far side, she'll get the kill. Twenty-three, seventeen, two points away. Ali O'Connell do the do the honors here with the serve. This is the biggest lead that Wiley's had, right? I think so here in set number two. They've stretched it out to a six-point lead. And now a whistle. And I believe we have a rotation violation here on Monterey. They're out of position. And the rotation will give it point to Wiley, and it'll make it game point, set point here in Game number two. Coach Lozada talking to the ref on the far sideline, trying to get the explanation of the rotation. Second time we've seen here tonight that Monterey's been called for a rotation violation. It's a lengthy conversation to try to get this one figured out. 24-17. The O'Connell ready for game point. Here is set number two. Soft serve, Dubree able to get it up. Johnson dug out by Reed. Jowers with the kill attempt. Now Monterey on the attack. Reed with the dig. O'Connell, back row, Dillard, big swing. And it goes a little bit long and it's out.
Still game point here at 24-18. Diller, pass to O'Connell. Gives to Johnston, blocks at the net. Maroney now a swing and she's got it down. The kill will give the Bulldogs set number two at 25-18. Two sets to zero lead now here for the Bulldogs. We will take a timeout as this is Bulldog Volleyball powered by Taylor Electric Cooperative on the Wiley Bulldog Sports Network. Whether an organized team sport or walk around your neighborhood, Hendrick Clinic Bone and Joint, Action Sports Medicine, and Action Physical Therapy understand the importance of keeping your family moving. From diagnosis to recovery, our team of physicians, orthopedic surgeons, and physical therapists provide personalized care for sports injuries, joint pain, and more. With state-of-the-art technology and more than 40 years of experience, our team will get you back to what keeps you moving. Everyone should have access to a bright financial future. Because when everyone succeeds, we all do better. That's why Abilene Teachers Federal Credit Union provides the tools and resources to help make your dreams come true. From buying your first home, to taking the vacation of a lifetime, to saving for retirement, we're here to help you achieve your goals. We serve everyday people in everyday life. Abilene Teachers Federal Credit Union. Everyone's welcome. Equal housing lender. Member NCUA. At Taylor Electric Cooperative, we are more than just the services we provide. For generations, we have been the link that has connected members to our local community. From those who remember when the lights were first turned on to those who rely daily on our high-speed fiber internet, we are here to make certain that those connections never dim. Because we understand that the most important connection we will ever make is the one we make together. At Taylor Electric, we have provided generations with services for living and connections for life. Sobin and Partners, we're in our third decade of providing high-quality, affordable dental care in Abilene and the Big Country. Our family-friendly clinic offers comprehensive dental care for adults and children. Anything from hygiene and preventative care to cosmetic dentistry and dental implants. And don't worry, we do emergency services too. Our team of professionals understands the latest dental techniques and technology and welcome your questions as we develop the perfect treatment plan for you. And best of all, we offer same-day appointments if you're in pain. So schedule your appointment today and we'll see you soon. Things are hopping here in Bulldog Gym, Wiley High School. Glad you're with us tonight. This Wiley High School production of Wiley Bulldog Volleyball, powered by Taylor Electric Cooperative. Andy Penny alongside Andre Washington, Wiley High School junior. Trevor's over there punching the buttons, too. What do you think, Trevor? Having a good time? Yeah, he gives the head nod. That's always good. Bulldogs now up two games to zero, two sets to zero, however you like to say it. 25-17 in the first game. 25-18, they just finished out the Lady Plainsman. In uh, set number two. And we play three out of five, so the uh, Bulldogs just need one more to finish out tonight's match. And moved to 3-0 and oh in district play. It's been a good start thus far in district. Let's we'll try to get to 3-0. and oh. All right, We'll get the first point, though. Nice joust at the net. We'll go the way. The Lady Plainsman. Dubree with the serve. Jowers in the back row. O'Connell to Johnston. Go cross court and it's in on the back line. Dubree thought that might be out. She let it go. It stayed in. And it's a point for the Bulldogs. Getting a good look at Brighton Diller there, the junior. 
who will serve it up. Jowers blocked at the net. Johnson for Monterey can't quite get to it. And it's a point here for the Bulldogs. Should be a great district race over the course of the next few weeks. Everybody plays each other twice on each other's home floor. In Lubbock Cooper, the reigning district champions, they're 3-0 on the early district portion of the schedule. Wiley trying to get there tonight. And here's a lift at the net by the Lady Plainsman and a point for Wiley. Diller still back there behind that service line. It's up by Diller, but hits it the wrong direction. And it's a point here for Monterey. Good kill for the Lady Plainsman. Bella Champion behind the service line. We'll have a sub first. And Avery Bond, the junior, back on the floor to play the front row. Champion ready to serve it up. And here is the serve. Hanson to O'Connell. Middle to Johnston. Johnston tries to go in the back corner. Dubree's able to get there. Joust at the net. Whistle and in the net it is Greaser for the Lady Plainsman. Point will go the way of the Lady Bulldogs. Taylor Riley has checked back in. She'll play the front row as Ashton Hansen will sub out. 4-2 Bulldog lead. Johnson, a big swing, and it's down. Plays it off the block and able to get the kill. Johnson's got a lot of height. She's got to be at 5'11", 6 foot tall. Reed in the back row. And this one put down by Johnson as well. Four to four. Back-to-back -back points for Johnson. They get three points in a row now for the Lady Plainsman. Good serve here by Greaser. Monterey has not led much tonight. They've been very competitive in both sets, or both games, but have not led much. But they lead here at 5-4. Here's a serve out on the near sideline, and we're tied at 5. Mallory Bankhead back in. In the substitution front row for back rows. Michaela Reed, the senior, will check out. Senior for senior. Six seniors on this Wiley roster this year. Michaela Reed, Wesley Ruff. Ashton Hansen, Mallory Bankhead, India Maroney, and Bree Johnston. Here's the far side, big swing and a kill for Laney Bradley. A 6-5 Lady Plainsman lead. Service error will give it back here to Wiley. Six apiece. Wesley Ruff checks back in here for Brighton Diller. The front row to the back row. Service error here. Jowers hits this one into the net. Good up here by Jowers. Bankhead now a chance to swing. Blocked at the net. Another chance to attack. Riley on the backside. Popped up by Dubree. Now rough a swing. And deflected at the net. I think it was tipped at the net. And it was the point will go the way of the Bulldogs. Seven all here in set number three.
Monterey wants to appeal the call there. They did not think there was a tip at the net. They thought the, the attack was out, but there was contact there at the net. So that's what the conversation is. And we're tied at seven with the point. A conversation over at the scores table. While they talk about that out, we've already told you that Wiley's next home game is versus Lubbock High. That's on Saturday, Saturday afternoon. Originally scheduled for Friday, it's now on Saturday afternoon, that courtesy of all the homecoming festivities going on on Friday night. Then on the road next Tuesday at Lubbock Coronado. And on the road next Friday, check that, at home next Friday versus Lubbock Cooper. That will be a big one on the 29th versus Lubbock Cooper. The tied at seven, here's Ashton Hansen's serve. Debris over to Champion. Champion with a swing, popped up by Hansen. Now Ruff blocked at the net, but again, off the net is Hilliard. It falls on the Plainsman side. It's a point to the Bulldogs. The ball right at the net. Bankhead <laughs> sets it up for Monterey, but Plains will get it back. Now Bankhead a swing blocked at the net. Another chance to attack. Rough near side, the far corner. Good dig by Joachim in the back row. Harper Joachim. O'Connell back set to Bankhead. Swing, it's in in the back. Right inside the back line. Allery Bankhead, another kill. 9-7 Wiley here in Game number three for the straight set victory tonight. 25-17 in game one, 25-18 in set number two. And Hanson will go try to go cross court on the near sideline, but it is out. Went back here to the Plainsman. Bradley ready to serve. Bankhead at the net, jousting, keeping it alive. Reed a chance to put it on the other side. Bradley over to Laney Bradley. Come the Bulldogs. Dubree with a nice dig in the back row. And now a shot right in the center of the floor. Jayla, Jayla Hilliard will get the point. We are tied at nine. Monterey staying alive here in game number three. Joust at the net. O'Connell able to keep it alive. Bankhead. Overhand swing. A champion into the back row. Jowers. O'Connell with a swing, and she's got a kill. That'll put a smile on Callie O'Connell's face. The setter doesn't get to swing very often, but she gets her one there. 10-9, Wiley back on top. Andre just going kind of back and forth, point for point. Wiley's been good about having a little run to stretch out a lead. Hasn't happened yet here in third game. It's just been point for point. O'Connell out of Johnston. Try to put it on the far sideline, but it is out. Actually, check that. Monterey was called for in, being in the net, so the point will go the way of Wiley. So 11-9. And again, Coach Lozada wants an explanation here. The Lady Plainsman coach wants an explanation. But a net called, net violation called here on Monterey. So 11-9, Wiley. Champion blocks at the net by Ruff and a point for Wiley. Maybe this is the stretch right here. Just when we say that, a few consecutive points for Wiley, they've got a three-point lead. Ruff, another big swing and another kill. 
Wesley having a nice night tonight with another kill. 13-9. Taylor Reed will now serve. He serves that one short into the net. A point here for the Lady Bladesman. Oh, into the back row. So setting the back row, Jowers. Jowers, not much. Power on that one, but a lot of top spin, and it finds its way in for a point. 14-10. Right, Diller back in as the rotation makes its way back to the back row, and she'll serve here for the Bulldogs. Jowers, O'Connell, back to Jowers. Dubree digs it out. Now Johnson in the middle. Johnson blocked at the net and it's down. Johnson another block at the net. And it's 14-11. Substitution here, Avery Bond back on the floor for Monterey. An ace here for champion. Ella Champion, a nice look at serve and the ace. 14-12. Monterey just keeps hanging around, hanging around. Read the pass to O'Connell. Back set to Johnston. Big swing blocked at the net. It's out, though, on the near sideline. Point will go the way of Wiley. 15-12 lead. Bring on a substitution here for the Bulldogs. India Maroney. Good to see India on the floor. Of course, missed... Basketball season last year with an injury. Missed the first few weeks of this volleyball season, finishing off that injury. But she's back in uniform and on the floor. Service error point for the Lady Plainsman. That's 15 13. Service error right back. So Greaser will hit one in the, into the net. 16 13. Wiley, three point lead. Here's Mallory Bankhead back on the floor. Mallory plays the front row. Taylor Reed, check out. Reed Johnson with a serve, and Bree's got herself an ace. Seventeen thirteen. Aronis, big swing, but it's long out of the back row. Past the back line. Seventeen fourteen. Bulldogs close it in here. Trying to finish it out in three games. There's another service error by the Lady Plainsman. It's 18-14. I say rough back in here for Brighton Diller. Head in the middle. Dubree's got it for the Lady Plainsman. A big swing. Bradley blocked to the net and is down. for Jowers. Look at Jowers with the ace. And just like that, it's a six-point spread, 20 to 14. Jowers will serve again. Close to another race. Bradley able to dig that one out. There's Maroney to get it over the net. Lady Plainsman now will attack. Champion to the outside. Bradley, big swing. Jowers digs it up, but it's 
unplayable for the Lady Bulldogs. It's a point. It's a kill for Bradley, who's had a nice game tonight. The senior outside hitter, Laney Bradley. 20 to 15. Another serve, and this one will sail long. Avery Bond just hit that one a little too strong. And now just four points away from victory tonight, 21-15. Ashton Hansen, the senior. Bradley, big swing. Jowers gets this one. Joust at the net. Bulldogs keep it alive. Bankhead into the back row. Bradley, big swing for the Lady Plainsman, and it's down. Another kill for Laney Bradley. 21-16. Monterey just sticking around, hanging around. Aniston Greaser back on the floor here for Monterey. Bradley will serve. Jowers, the pass. O'Connell, the set. Rough on the near side. Blocks, but out near sideline. Point for the Lady Bulldogs. Three points away from victory tonight. Just Reed with the serve. Champion a chance to swing from the back row. O'Connell pops it up. Reed bump set. Rough. Put it back on the Lady Plainsman side. Now big swing, blocked at the net, and down on the Plainsman side for a point. Two points away now from victory. And Jayla Hilliard will get a kill. Blocked by Johnston at the net, but falls on the mountain on the uh, Wiley side. Excuse me. 23-17, two points away. Dubree at the serve. Hanson the dig. Johnston a big swing. And hits the top of the net. That'll be four consecutive hits for the Bulldogs and a point for the Lady Plainsman. 23-18, Wiley. Five-point lead. Third by Dubree, Reed able to get to it. Joust at the net, Johnston gets it down on the Plainsman side. It's match point, 24-18. A chance for Brighton Diller to do the honors, try to finish this one out tonight. It was 25-17 in the First game, 25-18 in the second. Now 24-18 here in the third. One more conversation taking place here between the officials and the Plainsman captain, Bella Champion. Quite sure on that call. Just looking for a little bit of Explanation on the call. And you see Coach Lozada and Champion both talking to the official. And I think that will stay the way of the Bulldogs. In a lengthy conversation here, Coach Lozada and the officials. Match point here for the Bulldogs. And again, it's Brighton Diller to do the honors. Serve is back, a little topspin on it, right back to the Bulldog side. A chance to attack. Aliyah Jowers, the honors, and have a violation here. They called a double hit on the set, so the point does go the way of the Plainsman, but another match point here for Wiley. Avery Bond back in for this point here for the Lady Plainsman. 24-19 Wiley. Match point number two. Hanson, O'Connell, 
And it goes to Johnston, and it's down for the match point. The Bulldogs victorious tonight, 25-19. So they went 25-17, 25-18, 25-19. Good night of volleyball tonight, Andre. Yes, sir. Your thoughts on tonight's match? I think Wiley did a pretty good job of keeping a steady lead throughout the game. Yeah, they did. As did you, my friend. Good job. So the uh, Lady Bulldogs move to 3-0 and in district play. They're back on the floor on Saturday at noon versus Lubbock High here at Wiley High School. We'll hope you can join us here as well. I want to say a special thanks to our great sponsors, Taylor Electric Cooperative, Borland Sobin and Partners Dentistry, First Financial Bank, The Shed Market, Hendrick Clinic, Bone & Joint, and Lawrence Hall Chevrolet.